Hey guys, we've just jumped into my birthday month, August, and while my birthday isn't until the last day of the month, I'm a big believer in celebrating for the whole month. So today we're gonna whip up an amazing paleo chocolate cake. It's gluten-free, grain-free, dairy-free, and seriously delicious. As always, the specific instructions for this recipe are on my blog along with extra notes and tips, and those are always linked in the description box below. Later in the month, on my actual birthday, I'll be sharing a recipe for a mint chocolate dessert because it's always tradition to have something with mint and chocolate on my birthday, so stay tuned for that. But you can show me a little birthday love today by clicking that subscribe button below. All right, let's dive into this cake. To get started, you'll need to grease three eight-inch cake pans. I use palm shortening as it has no flavor, but you could also use ghee or coconut oil. Then line the bottom of the pans with parchment paper and set your cake pans to the side. Because this cake is gluten-free and grain-free, we'll use three flours, which includes almond flour, tapioca flour, and coconut flour. And if you click through to the blog post, I explain why each of these flours is important in giving this cake that perfect light and fluffy texture. Next comes the coconut sugar and raw cacao powder along with baking soda and our secret ingredient, which is espresso powder. The espresso powder doesn't make the cake taste like coffee, but it does add richness and depth. Add a little salt and then whisk the dry ingredients together. In a separate bowl, we'll combine our wet ingredients, which includes the eggs, non-dairy milk, water, coconut oil, apple cider vinegar, and vanilla extract. Gently whisk these ingredients together, then pour them into the dry ingredients and stir everything together until you have a smooth cake batter. Once the batter is fully mixed, divide it evenly between your three cake pans, getting out every little last drop, and then pop them into your preheated oven. While the cakes are baking, we'll make our chocolate buttercream frosting. If you've watched my homemade powdered sugar video, you've seen me make powdered coconut sugar, and I'll link to that video at the end. So you can use all powdered coconut sugar, which has a bit of a caramel flavor, or mix it with organic powdered sugar, which is what I'm doing today. To our sugar, we'll add our raw cacao powder, organic palm shortening, non-dairy milk, and vanilla extract. Now, if you have a stand mixer, I highly recommend a beater blade like this one as it scrapes the sides and mixes at the same time. And about 30 seconds later, you'll have this absolutely delicious chocolate buttercream frosting. Once your cakes have completely cooled to room temperature, it's time to assemble. Add your bottom layer to a cake stand or plate and dollop a generous amount of frosting. Then add another layer and repeat this process until all three layers are stacked. I usually do a crumb coat, which means I add a thin layer of frosting to the sides, scrape it down, and then refrigerate the cake for 30 minutes until it's hardened up. This prevents crumbs from getting into your final frosting layer. Once that's done, you can pile on the rest of the frosting and decorate your cake as you wish.
thanks guys for watching. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss next week's video.